Okay, so lesson on adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're not going to, in the past you may have learned to do this by converting the numbers to improper fractions. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to use a method called reordering, regrouping. And I think once you get familiar with this, you'll like it. So I'm going to make sure I understand that 9 and 2 thirds, make sure you understand that that is 9 plus 2 thirds. That's the meaning of 9 and 2 thirds. Um, if that wasn't obvious to you, then make sure you realize that. And 12 and 2 thirds is equal to 12 plus 2 thirds. Now, so I'm going to, the way I'm going to end up doing this problem is I'm going to go 9 plus 2 thirds plus 12 plus 2 thirds. I'm going to use the commutative property of addition to reorder the numbers. So anytime I'm adding numbers, as long as I'm only adding, I can reorder the numbers to my advantage. And next thing I'm going to do is, you don't really have to show this step, but I'm going to, I'm going to choose to add the numbers the way I've put them in parentheses. So 9 plus 12 is 21, and 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is four thirds. Now I don't want to leave it 21 and four thirds, although that would be correct. I want to make sure I understand that four thirds can be thought of as three thirds plus one third and three thirds is equal to one and so that leaves me with a total of twenty-two and one third. That's my final answer here. Now, whoops. Now I'm going to move up here. Work on this next example, which would be seven four fifths plus ten and two fifths. So once again, I'm going to think of that as seven plus four fifths plus ten plus two fifths. Then I'll reorder, regroup. Put the seven and put the whole numbers together and put the fractions together. And I'll get that this is equal to seventeen plus six fifths. Now six fifths is equal to five fifths plus one fifth. So I'll call that in the end, and that and that five fifths is equal to one. So I end up with seventeen plus one plus one fifth. So that'd be eighteen and one fifth. All right, and that's the final answer there. In my next page. So my next example would be. 5 and 1 eighths plus 3 and 5 6. Now recognize here that we have, now we have, now we don't have common denominators for the fraction parts of the mixed numbers, but that's okay. Um, let's remember that uh, in this particular problem that the least common denominator of the two denominators 6 and 8, or it's the least common multiple, but it's going to be our least common multiple of the two denominators, so that's, let me erase that. So 6 and 8. Can't quite get that right. Hold on. One more time. So 6 and 8 is 24. So I want to make sure I get the fraction part of these with the common denominator. So if I take, you know, 1 eighth to get my common denominator, I got to go 3 over 3, so that's equal to 3 24ths. And for the 5 6, I've got to multiply by 4 over 4, and that's equal to 20 24ths. So I'm going to call this 5 and 3 24ths plus 3 and 20. 24s. I'm going to reorder, regroup. I'm 
and I get that that's eight plus twenty three twenty four so I'll call that eight and twenty three twenty four All right, I'll move up now. Got four and one fourth plus four and three eighths. So we've got a, this time we've got a least common denominator of the four and the eight is eight. So I'll change the one-fourth, multiply by two over two, and get that that's two-eighths. So now I've got four and two-eighths plus four and three-eighths is four plus four plus two-eighths plus three-eighths and that's 8 plus 5 eighths, or 8 and 5 eighths. And that's my final answer there. All right, next page. I'm going to go on to some subtraction problems, and they're done fairly similarly. So let's, let's see how we can approach 4 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 2 and, two and 1 third. Now, so long as the, let me write this down, so long as the as the numerator of the first fraction again this is assuming that they have common denominators is greater than the numerator of the second fraction then you can reorder, regroup but make sure that you pay attention to the details of this because there is a little detail that you have to tend to that doesn't make an exact exactly the same thing so so what we're going to do is we're going to say this is four plus two-thirds and then this is minus two plus one third. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract it. We're going to say four minus two, right? And then plus two thirds minus one third. So what we're doing here is we're subtracting the whole number of parts and we're subtracting the but we gotta sum the results of that because because that's that's just how the math works here. So you end up with two and one third. And that should make sense if you think about it, because one thing you can think of it like this, you can think, okay, let's take four and two thirds. Now remember, you're subtracting two and one third, right? So let's say you had four and two thirds of a of a grapefruit, and then you subtracted two of the grapefruits. So if you subtract two of the grapefruits, you'd be down to two and two thirds. And then if you subtract the, the one third of the grapefruit, then the remaining one-third of the grapefruit, then you have two and one-third just where we're supposed to end up. So, because really what this amounts to is that is that you're subtracting two and you're subtracting one-third. You can think of that as a distributive property with this negative right here. You're subtracting two and subtracting one-third. 
So, um, but I just chose to work with the, so long as you remember that you can subtract the, the one third, even though it was a plus there, because what's going on is you're distributing this negative. So let's look at the next one. So this one's different because the numerator is not greater than than the in the first fraction. So you see this numerator right here is is smaller than this numerator. So what I'm going to do here to make this work is I'm going to borrow from this. So instead of 17 and 1 eighths, I'm going to make this 16 plus 8 eighths plus 1 eighth. So what I'm doing here is I'm this is equal to 1 so I borrowed 1 from this 17 and I made that 8 eighths and this 1 eighth is this 1 eighth so now what I really have here is 16 well it's the same amount I started with and 9 eighths minus 12 and 3 eighths let me go take the work up here now so then I can subtract the I can subtract the whole number parts and I can and then I will put, make sure you we're adding here and I'm going to subtract the fraction parts and 16 minus 12 is 4 and 9 minus 3 is 6 so that's 6 ace or four and three-fourths. Final answer there. Alright, so let's go on to the next examples. Uh, here I have three and four-fifths minus two and one-fifth. This one's a little more straightforward. I'm going to say subtract two and I'm going to add to that four-fifths minus one-fifth. I'm just subtracting the whole number, so really what's going on here, I'm subtracting this from the 3, and I'm subtracting this from the 4 fifths. So that's what's going on there. And I end up with 3 minus 2 is 1, and 4 fifths minus 1 fifth is 3 fifths. So final answer of 1 and 3 fifths. Alright, uh, here we have another example where the numerator of the first fraction is smaller than the numerator of the second fraction. So once again, I'm going to have to borrow from the 14. So I'm going to make that 14. Actually, I'm going to make that 13. So 13 and 5 fourths. So what I did was I took 4 fourths, which is 1 from the 14, and gave it to the 1 fourth. So that's 13 and 5 fourths minus 10 and 3 fourths. So now I'm going to subtract the 10 from the 13 and I'm going to subtract the 3 fourths from the 5 fourths and I'll get 2 and 2 fourths or 2 and a half. So next page I've got now I've got mixed numbers that don't have common denominators here, so I've got to think about that first. I've got to think, I've got 7 eighths and 3 fourths as my two fraction parts of the mixed numbers. So my LCM of my, or in other words, LCD of my two fractions here is going to be 8. So I've got to change this to 10 and 7 eighths minus 4. I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2 for the 3 fourths and get that to be 6 a's. Now I'm going to subtract the whole number parts. And remember the key with this technique is to add the two parts. So and then I'm going to subtract the 6 a's from the 7 a's. And I'll get 6 and 1 eighth. That's my final answer. Now this next one, once again, I have uh, mixed numbers with, uh, with the common, where I don't have common denominators for the fraction parts. So I've got 9 and 3. So if we think about this, that we, our LCD of 
9 and 3 as 9. So I'm going to change the 8 and 2 thirds to, I got to multiply by 3 over 3, so that's going to be 6 ninths. I'm going to subtract the whole number parts and add to that the subtraction of the fraction parts and I'll get that's 4 and 2 ninths. Let's look at a couple of word problems. So at birth the pilot whale is 4 and 3 fourths feet long. So that's a pilot whale, some type of whale, and its length is Four and three feet, three and four and three fifths feet long, and a newborn gray whale is fifteen and one fourth feet long. So, how much longer is the newborn gray whale than the pilot whale? So, it's a subtraction problem. So, I'm going to take fifteen. Clean that up. So 15 and 1 fourth, that's the length of the newborn gray whale. And I'm going to subtract from that the length of the newborn pilot whale, which is 4 and 3 fifths. Now my LCD here of 4 and 5 is 20. So I'm going to Got to convert this, 15 and 1 fourth. I got to multiply by 5 over 5 for the 1 fourth, so that's going to be 5 twentieths. And I got to multiply by 4 over 4 with 3 fifths, so that's 4. And that's going to be 12 twentieths. I've got a situation here where notice that my numerator is smaller for the first fraction, so I'm going to have to borrow from the 15. I'm going to make that 14 and 25 twentieths, so I borrowed 20 twentieths from the 15 and I gave it to this 5 twentieths, gave the 20 to there, so that's where this 25 came from. And now I'm going to subtract 4 and 12 twentieths and I'll subtract the whole number parts and add to that the subtraction of the fraction parts and you can go up here and say that the difference here is 10 25 minus 12 is 13 so 13 20 feet longer is the answer that's how much longer the gray whale is than the pilot whale at birth Okay, one more example here. I've got dog food that comes in 5 and 7 eighths pound bags and 12 and 3 fourths pound bags. Find the total of two small and one large. So this is the small, so I'm going to have to, have to get two of those. So I'm going to have to go 2 times 5 and 7 eighths plus 12 and 3 fourths. That's the larger. Well, 5 and 7 eighths, if I don't want to multiply these, I can just add them. So I'm, I can just say 5 plus 7 eighths plus 5 plus 7 eighths plus 12 plus 3 fourths. Now the 3 fourths is going to need to be changed to 6 eighths, so I'll do that in the next step. So what I've got here, if I add all the whole numbers, it's 5 plus 5 plus 12. And then I'm going to add two seven eighths. I'm going to change that three fourths to six eighths. And that's going to get me 10 and 12 is 22, plus 14 and 6 is 20 eighths. And that 20 eighths, I'm going, that's going to be two and a half. So I've got two, 22 plus. Two and a half, and just to explain that, that 20 ace was equal to 2 and 4, 16 ace is 2, and then I've got 4 more ace, so that's where that came from. 
and so this all equals 24 and a half pounds of the three bags of dog food. And that is the end of the lesson.